Hi all, welcome back to the Human Body Read Loud series. This is the final lesson in this particular series. I will be continuing, so there'll be more to come. Go ahead and click subscribe and click the bell for new content notification. Thank you for your support. Now, this read aloud is called What a Complicated Network. And in this read aloud, Dr. Wellbody is going to review the five body systems. I want you to think about these questions as you hear what she has to say. So, how many bones do you have? Which muscle is the biggest in your body? Why does your body still have food in it today that you ate two days ago? And how long does it take for your blood to go all around your body? And last one, what controls your five senses? So today, I want you to listen to find the answers to the questions posed by Dr. Wellbody. All right, let's get started. After all we've learned about our amazing bodies, I'll bet that now you'll be able to answer the questions I asked you in our very first meeting. Let's go through them and see what you know. How many bones do you have? There are over 200 joined together to form your skeleton. Your skeleton keeps you standing tall. Your bones are joined together by joints wherever you can bend or move, like your knees, arms, and shoulders. Some of your bones protect the softer parts of your body. Remember what protects your brain? That's right, your skull. And what bones protect your heart? Your ribs. Which muscle is the biggest in your body? It's your gluteus maximus or buttock muscle. Did you know that you use muscles every time you move? Often you decide when you want to move your muscles. For example, you have control over when you raise your arm or lift your leg. But some muscles work by themselves without your having to even think about them. Does anyone remember what we call the muscle that works like a pump all day and all night to keep you alive? Yes, it's your heart. Why does your body still have food in it today that you ate two days ago? Food moves slowly through your body. It takes time for your body to digest food, taking all the nutrients from it that your body needs before getting rid of the waste. Food goes from your mouth down your esophagus and into your stomach before reaching your intestines. The saliva in your mouth and the juices in your stomach help break it down. Nutrients are absorbed into your bloodstream from your small intestine. The waste passes into your large intestine and you get rid of it when you go to the bathroom. How long does it take for your blood to circulate all around your body? It only takes about one minute. Your heart muscles work hard to pump your blood all around. The blood moves through your blood vessels. Does anyone remember what the blood carries with it on its superhighway? The blood carries oxygen from your lungs to all parts of your body. It carries nutrients from your food too. Your heart works night and day to keep your blood circulating. What controls your five senses? Your brain. You find out about the world through your senses by seeing, hearing, tasting, smelling, and feeling. Nerves that connect to your spinal cord carry this information to your brain. Your brain is not only in charge of your senses, it also controls your thinking, learning, speech, and memory. It controls the movements you make and many other things your body does. Your brain is the control center of the body. Remember that none of the systems of your body can work properly unless you take care of them. That means eating nutritious foods and drinking plenty of water, exercising, keeping clean, and getting plenty of sleep. Oh, and don't forget to visit a doctor like me for checkups. Now, before we say goodbye, here's one final rhyme for you to learn and to take with you. I've got a complicated body, but I understand it well. Its systems form a network to keep me feeling swell. I'll take good care of my body. I'll exercise and rest. I promise to eat healthy foods and to stay clean. I'll do my best. 
All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this read aloud series of the human body. All right, come back and see me for the next one. Bye.